It was good. Nobody will know what we're talking about now. No. It was halflingy. It was it's pretty so halflingy. I, I didn't want to ruin everyone's night. Halflingy. It would get to be too much after a long period of time. It would be really yeah, good. Like more for... than 30 seconds is yeah. too much. But it'd be great at first. I think I can keep that entertaining for like 10 minutes. Actually, I know I can because I do it all the time. Right, uh -huh. Yes. Yes, it doesn't get Rose old. It. it doesn't get old. <laughs> Every time I turn it on, I could hear his eyes roll through the mic. Uh, there he goes again. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good for about two minutes, and then it just turns into thirty minutes. And then I'm just like, okay, man, it's a little, it's enough now. It's because I turn off the thing where I can hear myself, and I just forget it's on. Because <laughs> you don't get to experience it then. Yeah. yeah, you're just talking. If I can't hear it, it's not real. Yeah. Everybody say hello so the chat can tell you if you're too quiet hello. or not. That's Mash. Hello. That's Angel. Hi, Hi Mash. Hi, Hi Mash. That's Snake. Hi, oh, hello. Hi, Snake. And there's Whitwigs. Hey. Are we are we good? I think we're okay. The bars don't lie at all ever. Awesome. No, never. Let's game boys. Is that your is that your character voice? No. Because oh. people are gonna get really confused when I talk. Then. <laughs> you sound like the same people. Are you? I'm command. about to be. <laughs> we don't have a D and D command here, do we? I don't remember. No, no, we don't. Shit. God damn it! It's fine. It's, it, it, well, it's everything fine. is a mess. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, We're just okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. And just oh, to let no. you know, I do have, I, or I don't have any kind of alerts on. Just to let anybody know. Yes. Whenever so, there's D&D. Aw, uh, I was going to give you bits. What's stopping you? Not generous? Yeah. Wow. I need alerts. I need people to know I gave you, you bits. You need validation. Yeah. <laughs> you need to say, hey, Whitwicks with 100 bits. There it is. Thank you so much. I do have... Can you do uh, that in character? <laughs> That's sell out station. Jeez. I do have... Uh, Oh, hey, we do have a D&D command. Do we? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The day is saved. I have Twitch alerts up, but yeah, no <laughs> alerts will be going off. So I probably won't say anything, at least until the end. Okay. Yeah, that's Fair a good enough. way to do it. So, are you seeing Russ's perspective? Yes. As... I, I can't do it because I'm DMing and secrets. I need them. Secret secrets. Just have a token name, huge bad monster boss, and we're like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen in this chamber. <laughs> it's spoiled, and then they'll say something in chat, and we'll be like, what? <laughs> so, handful of changes. For the rest of ESO's lifespan, it will take place on this channel. We have... We lost four players and gained one, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. So after... A bit of... Conflict within the campaign four players decided to drop and then Witwix joined hi Witwix hi Witwix hey Witwix oh hey what's going on guys oh you know I'm just playing D&D &D. oh same I guess it's good that we're all on this same same server then good yeah yeah <laughs> yay It's hardening, I understand, but the campaign will continue. We're here to play. That said, this um, past few days have been a whirlwind. So we're doing it live. We were supposed to start like an hour ago. Well, but we had lots of setting like up. Four hours. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That's okay. A lot of setup and a lot of scrambling on my end, especially, which I'm still doing. So apologies for that tonight. I'll Forgiven. be better about it. Oh, we're not even there yet. But we'll, we'll do it live. Everything will be okay. We got this. If we were together, we could do anything! Yeah! yeah. Through the power of friendship! Well, yeah! We all have me now. It seems yeah, like... It's not... Oh, sorry, sorry go, go ahead. ahead. No. I did. Yeah, okay. Uh, the Thank number one you. trivia question in the chat is always, what's a lolthin? What's a lolthin? <laughs> what, what is that? It? What is you that? You don't it's obviously the descendant no. of the goddess Lolth in the drow. You're a drow? No. She's not drow. drow. No. You're a Lolthin drow. Lolthin? No. Like, that's not even allowed to say that she's either a drow or she is like a subservient to Loth. That's it. But it really doesn't have anything to do with that goddess or being a drow or anything. You guys are still learning. Better. You heard it here first, guys. She's evil. Lolthin is. Lolthin is evil. not anything that you think it is. It's a homebrew. So what were you saying, Snake? Um, it's a good question. What was I saying? You were telling us what a lolthin was. Oh, yeah. right. A lolthin is no. <laughs> Don't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, we... We will continue. And it'll be fine. Now let's try to recall where we were last session. What happened? Are you asking oh, us? No, no, I remember. Oh, okay. Uh, but now I remember what I was going to say as well. Uh, there is a question multiple times about if this is going to be the same story. Yes. Same character, same story. Same everything. Now, last session, when we last left our mercenaries, they had just, well, laid the smack down on the Shining Mole Rats. Who? Exactly. Oh, those nobodies? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm positive you meant the best mercenary group there is mm, in the Queen's uh, Gambit. Eh, don't think so. Not anymore. Um, well. <laughs> they did that. Many of them uh, went on uh, out on their separate ways afterwards. If I recall, Tetri mentioned a wanting to, at the very least, check to see if you had a job lined up. And the rest of you, rather, Ishe and Bart, wanted to get supplies, right? Yes. I don't remember. I know I did, for sure. I we I, gave them a list of stuff, though, right? I think that I wanted to uh, make more health potions and stuff at the shop. If I could do that, I don't know. I don't know. I do need more health potions, though. That's certainly I mean, like, something. Sorry, go ahead. No, I mean, like, it would be a good idea to pick up some, some stuff, but, like, the list that we gave them, the... Oh, we did give the guy a list. Yeah. yeah. This is true. Did Health we potions were the on stuff? the list. Yeah. Sadly, mm -hmm. I don't have the list. <laughs> Hopefully Snake does. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find it now. I remember some of the stuff that was on there. I think it was in uh, in TeamSpeak, but I don't think we can find it anymore. No, I think it's in the past. I can tell you some of the stuff that was on there. Yeah, I don't have it in my notes, I don't think. Lay it on me. It was like health potions, uh, like Billy. Alcohol. 
club. Well, I think there were was hookers the, on there. Uh-huh. Hookers were on there. A dog. Yeah. Alcohol. Yep. And then, like, you wanted to get a... What are they called? Blackjacks? Yeah, blackjack. Yeah. For knocking people out. Oh, I asked for poisons if available. And that's all, I think. It wasn't in D20, was it? Mm-mm, it was in TeamSpeak. Darn. Yeah. Gotta remember that Roll20 records everything. How could I lose that list? Somebody go back and watch the VOD and tell me what we bought. <laughs> Just find it. Okay, well, we'll work with that makeshift. Uh, list for now. Yeah. Let's start with Bart and Tetra. After you uh, lay out your demands uh, for Rian and you all depart, where do you go from there? I would go back to Beggar's Keep. And stay in my room for the night. Got a busy day tomorrow. Yeah, after the bar brawl. But do I have a spot where I keep my things? Because if I do, I want to put that book I got in there. You do. It would be in that cell. Okay. Now I want to slip it in there. In the secret spot that I keep all my little knickknacks. Well, am I sitting on your secret thing right now? I don't know, maybe. You don't know. You'd know. You would know. <laughs> I want to leave it there. The book That's... I found upstairs. And so you do. What else do you have in there, by the way? Um, I've got a thing of wind chimes, two thimbles, a wooden spoon, and a wooden bowl. That's it. Okay. And now the the book that you took from uh, Cistella's place is now part of your hoard. Nice. He's like I a dragon. Happy. I feel content. It should be noted that your dead drop is very close by. Oh, can I go there before we go to sleep? You can if you'd like. I want to check there. We would know, having done this for a good while now, uh, this is part of why you chose this location, the Dead Drop, is uh, the, the very last cell, bottom left. Oh. Face through what? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This way? Yes. Okay, I was like, which left? Do I turn this way or this way? Great. Check it. Okay. You open it up, there's lots of straw, which is not unusual. You sift Um, around a bit. Because you know that sometimes uh, the handlers like to hide these things for a good reason, mind you. You find it close to the very bottom uh, beneath a a very thin layer and a very heavy top layer of straw. There's a folded piece, uh, piece of parchment with a wax seal. Nondescript. doesn't have anything on the outside but what does the seal look like is it just wax does it have like a stamp on it it isn't stamped but the wax is a sort of copper color Ah, i open it good thing it didn't have a dugong on it 
That is, she is not a member of the Copper Dugongs. <laughs> That's the other thieves. Guy. Unfortunately, they wouldn't accept my uh, resume. You'll get there. Ah, oh, one day. You open it up. Fumble with the wax, pry it off, and unfold the parchment. Scrawled on it in Thieves' Cant. You see your name, or rather, your handle. Sunshine. Yes. That's your handle? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so fitting. What's strange about this one, though, is that, aside from your name, the contents of this a job order is or are rather pretty sparse there's a list of things there's a location uh, there are a couple of names there's a target the target is in bold From it, you can glean that your target is a man named Cedric. Specifically, his goat. Specifically, C Cedric's goat? Yes. Okay. You, along with three people, or rather two other people, are to infiltrate his estate. Roughly a mile outside of town on the western side. Use the sewer tunnels all the way there. And there's a route uh, scrawled on a scrawled at the very bottom, a very rudimentary route scribbled down. I'd lead you through the tunnels a way that you haven't been before, so it's unfamiliar territory. But it'll lead you through all the way out of town to what you assume to be this man's estate. You are to collect a goat. It's described as black and white. Bring it back alive through the same tunnels. Oh, I gotta bring it back alive. Uh, that's easy, though. Okay. There's also a it's more detailed than the map of the tunnels. But it's still pretty, um, still pretty vague. You have a map of the compound. Uh, you were to come in, it shows your entry point into the estate in the basement. It leads you up through to the main floor and through the hall, through the kitchen and out the back into uh, the, the farm area where all the animals are kept. On the map, there are, or for the rooms, you see names like Vault and Library. Storage, Dining Room, Bedroom 1, Bedroom 2. The Vault is marked with an X on the second floor. What's in it, you have no idea, but the vault is not your objective. The goat is. The greatest of all time. Yes. Sweet. Maybe that's why I have to leave him alive. You get the impression that... Well, this is the first time you've gotten a request like this. Normally your work consists of stealing, but 
more objects than, well, livestock. And he never heard of anyone being asked to steal a goat before. So you're not sure what it means, but you, you get the feeling that it's probably important. The date for the job is listed as, well, tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, in fact. Perfect. All right. You're to rendezvous with the other two members at roughly uh, 8 p.m. Around the sewer entrance that'll lead you to the estate. There's a little alcove marked on the the map of the tunnels. Uh, it appears to be you have you've traveled that route before, but you haven't seen that alcove, so you assume it's something that's hidden, a meetup spot that you haven't been to before, and that's where you're supposed to meet them. All right. Is that all? It's on the letter. That's it. Okay, fold it up, put it in my pocket, and then walk back to the room. And get on the bed and sit cross legged. Bart is snoozing. Oh. Can I go to bed? <laughs> what time is it? It would have been... What, like, after 10 when you all left the bar? Definitely. Yeah. So it's fairly late. Okay. I go to sleep too. And the bedroll is very comfortable. My kind of bedroll. <laughs> With that, we'll jump to you, Ishe. Am I doing things or am I sleeping? You tell me. Um. Well, I don't remember when we agree. When did we agree to meet up the next day? Not tomorrow. We... We're having a day off tomorrow to supply okay. ourselves, and then the next day at noon, I believe it was. Mm. Or no, it was crack of noon, morning. Okay, but we have tomorrow off. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um. Were we supposed to meet him? What was this? or no? That was for something else. Yeah, you had for uh. For the items that you wanted to request or to receive them, you were to go to a bar. I believe it was the, the speckled duck or spangled duck. That doesn't sound right. I'm questioning you, DM. Mm. Spangled Don't duck question was the something. DM. Angel, do you have it written down by chance? For what? Where we're supposed to meet the guy for the items. Is that a restaurant or something or bar? Oh, um, yeah, I'm sure I have that written down. I mean, we've had copper keels, and you have those badger guys. So many animals. The wily bear. The wily bear. Snake trying to throw us off, makes go to the wrong restaurant, and I even meet a guy. I can't believe him. Okay. <laughs> Spangled duck was the. That's where I Edmund got that sweet Everclear. Oh. But yes, the Wily Bear, you were supposed to go in and make the request there and pick it up. But we still got time. Yeah, you have plenty of time. Okay. Mm. I guess um, I would go home and 
look through any books I might have to see if I have any information on um, the thing that we fought back in Carlo that came up from the well. Just to try and figure out what that was. A monster and, with the sucker hands? Yeah. And any information I might have on um, like mind control magic and stuff like that. I don't know if I would have anything, but if I have any books that might have any information, I would want to look through those. And if I don't have any information, then I would just go to sleep. Shush, 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 shush. It's a new map that we've seen before. Don't be alarmed, there's an invisibart in your room. Oh my god. I can't sleep with invisible people in my room. Oh, well, there's also an Invisitetra, so... This gives me anxiety. <laughs> you can see your messy room for what it really is now. There's also a mysterious presence that you're not quite aware of yet. <laughs> I'm invisible, too. I feel a it's presence. <laughs> Who is it? Who could it be? Um, you said you wanted to check to see if you have any books on mind control and what else? And the monster, the sucky hand monster that we fought back in Carlo that came up from the well. The Wendigo. Give me yeah. a history check for the monster. Uh, uh, sure. Why not? He rummaged through your books after digging them out from beneath all the clothes. I don't have that many clothes. And blankets. I do have a lot of blankets. And you look through what books you know you have on... Well, weird creatures. Frankly, things that not many people have seen, yourself included. Although you, you know very well that things aren't always what they appear. Still, uh, you flip through them. Most of them are sketches, like first or second hand accounts of what people have seen or heard of, but nothing matches the description of what you saw. Okay. So you move on to mind control. Uh, give me a give me an arcana check. Uh, I'm not smart. All those books <laughs> you think you would be. Your image again. This time, looking through what text you have, uh, mostly theoretical stuff at this point on the various types of magic. There's not a lot on it, especially at this day and age. Not, not uh, anything that's readily available, specifically because of how people inside Elf view magic on the whole. I go to sleep. And so you do. Roblox. Yes. My bad. <laughs> It's roughly 10, 15 p.m., 10.30, somewhere in there. This is your second day. My second day in town? Your second day on the job. Oh, okay. I 
Actually, you know what? 